Okay, so um, how many of you guys have a partner that is a butthead? Um, <laughs> so a sweet butthead, but a butthead. And throws um, spontaneous things into your budget every month. Um, as you guys know, we're on a bit of a tight budget um, this month. And we are doing a $75 a week food challenge. That's $75 worth of groceries that we can purchase each week around centering our meal planning and everything around what we ha currently have in the pantry and such. So, um, this isn't really something that I have to figure out in the budget, thankfully, but of course on a month that we are really tight on money, um, my husband, he knows that I've been working very hard and, well, he told me the other night because he he insists that I get my hair cut professionally and um, I'd, I'd be fine with like just buzzing it off and whatnot but I think he wants me to have that pamper me time because I don't do next to anything for self-care really um making myself a cup of tea that's self-care reading a book that's self-care those are the types of things I've never had a whole lot of money in life and so I, I wouldn't know what to do to spend a bunch of money. I, I don't know. It just feels a little bit out of place to spend a bunch of money on self-care type thing. But my hubs likes to spoil me. And so last night I was showing him a haircut. I want to go a little bit shorter. Woo, we'll see what it's like. And um, I had mentioned that the haircut looks great the color looked good on the model girl, whatever. And he's like, oh, that hair color would look good on you. He's like, do it. I'm like, no. I'm like, that's going to be a bunch of money that's not in our budget this month. He says, you know what? He's like, you don't worry about it. I'm going to go cut a load of firewood so that you can go do that pan for me time. Um, I have to say, um, I am beyond loved by that man, and I could not be more blessed. So I guess I am forcing myself, despite that it feels a little bit weird, I am forcing myself to accept this gift of love from him, and so let's go get a haircut. I'm not going to take you guys in with me to get the haircut, um, but I will definitely show you guys the after results. and. I'm also going to be cash stuffing our wallet for the next bit here for the next week because I'm this month I'm doing weekly wallet cash stuffing just to try to keep myself just a little bit more in check on that so hope you guys are following me on Instagram for all the recipes and stuff that I'm working on putting on there plus my musical savings challenge that I am doing so all right I'm gonna go get a haircut I'll see you guys in a bit bye Okay, you guys, so this is the hair. We went way shorter. And it's like a silvery blonde. I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> okay, all right, you guys, we are going to be cash stuffing our wallet. Yay, time to put money back in my wallet. Um, this is Jenny with Budget Determined. And this month we are doing, just because we've been tight on money, and, um, you know, we, we need to clean out the pantry every once in a while. So we're taking advantage of being a little bit tighter this month, and we're doing a $75 a week grocery challenge. Now that is to buy ingredients to create the meals that we make with the pantry meals. Um, and then... We're gonna try to we're trying to do sixty dollars a week for gas and I'm going to kind of go over what we have spent over this last week. I am actually filming this on the 9th um, of February the Yeah and yeah my brain just went blank. Joy of joys. We got paid on the first and um, we did budget three ten 
for groceries for the month that gives us a ten dollar leeway with that 75 dollar budget and we budgeted 250 for gas for the whole entire month i'm just cash stuffing a week at a time and so with the sixty dollars a week that will also leave us ten dollars kind of crunchy there and let's see that was gas we spent twenty dollars in gas so far for groceries we spent forty dollars just kind of general groceries with bread and milk and stuff like that so forty dollars plus nine dollars um this was kind of a pre-planned thing. My family wanted to go out, a couple of my kids, they wanted me to go out and karaoke with them. So I went with them and I bought myself two drinks that night. I took $10 with me, but I only ended up spending $9, including tip. So I, they did some what they called pre-gaming <laughs> over at my daughter-in-law's house. Um, I did not do any pre-gaming. I, I wanted to uh, not be tipsy that night, but it was, it was fun to go out and have a couple drinks and hang with the family. So definitely worth it, definitely valuable. Um, we bought $6 worth of eggs. We have some very sweet friends that have chickens and they are not accepting any more than three dollars a dozen for eggs for us so we bought two dozen of eggs and then twenty dollars in groceries here twenty that equals our 75 that we spent for the week um those of you who have been with me on my journey you know that my husband at last month um went out of one of his part-time paychecks he has been working really, really hard and wanted to do like a whiskey tasting event with some friends. And so um, I had budgeted $50 for that. Well, I guess some of the guys decided to put together a whiskey basket that they're going to kind of do like a drawing of everybody that comes to see who wins the basket. And it's going to have different prizes, different whiskeys jerky etc in it and my husband wanted to contribute to that so twenty dollars went to that we took it out of our grocery fund as that was a random unplanned um you know stuff your face ingest in your system cost um so that came out of our groceries so 75 dollars it is all spent we're going to jump in here though and see what we do have. I think I have this backwards. I do. Okay. Grocery is empty in gas. What do I have in gas? I have 20, 30, 40 left in gas right now. I'm going to let that ride and whatever's left over in our gas envelope at the end of this month is just going to go into accommodating our um future fu fuel yeah not future fuel future vehicle costs that will include any kind of gas overage that will include our tabs anything to do with the vehicle whatsoever repairs whatnot groceries um if anything is left over in our grocery fund it will go to our food stock up fund which you know that we are doing food saving challenges for we buy meat in bulk and stuff uh, from local farms a few times a year and in pets we still have our 50 this will be um spent i don't know if all of it will be spent we'll see what we what we manage with that um but we need dog food and stuff cat treats i don't think we need cat food yet but that will be coming up here that's going to get spent um the week that this is airing i'm going to have to go purchase pet stuff and anything left in the pet envelope goes into the pet emergency fund to cover 
any kind of vet bills, etc., cetera, um, or larger ticket items that are needed down the road. So let's grab out some money now that you guys know. And yeah, grab out some money and get this stuffed. Now this is all of the money for the whole entire month. So I kind of have to... I have it all mixed up because I was trying to make sure that I had it um, separated in the, in the right numerics. So 50, 75, there's my grocery money. Yay. I would like to pick up a couple of items. And then, oh, over here we have our gas. This is the extra 10 that we're hoping not to spend that we can just kind of pop into the building of the sinking fund. So $60 for gas. This we're just going to ignore because it's going to go in there. Out of sight, out of mind, I don't touch that. I thankfully <laughs> have the self-discipline. It, it's taken a little bit to build it up, but I have the self-discipline not to dig in there because I know that that snake is going to come and bite me hard if I do dip into there. And I don't, I don't want to have to find the antidote for that. So $75 into our grocery and I'm just going to combine all of this together because it really ah, doesn't matter. Throwing money around. 50. We now have 50, 70, 80, 90. Oh, we have 100 in there. Okay. And I'm probably going to put on a little bit of fuel here, but I think I'll just um, pop in another 20 for right now. Um, I say that this being the ninth. Um, I don't know. I'm going to kind of play around it. I'm going to be in an area next week, the week that this video is airing, that has better fuel costs. So if I can baby it out and just top off my tank when I'm there, then that would be great. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. If, if my car's not going to make it, then I should at least put a few dollars in to get me to where <laughs> I can get the better fuel. So, because I don't want to be stranded anywhere. So then, what else do I want to talk about? I think that is it for right now. Just kind of a quick little update. And we still have our savings challenges and stuff. Um, this video is, like I said, I'm filming this on February 9th, but this is airing the following Monday. So... I don't have a calendar in front of my face. So, but anyways, um, it's Thursday the 9th, Friday the 10th, Saturday the 11th, Sunday the 12th, Monday the 13th. So this should be good. Yeah. February 13 is when this is airing. So that being said, um, between when I'm filming and when this video is airing, I do have a crafters fair this weekend that I'm joining and um, kind of putting some, you know, handy dandy crafty things available for people to purchase um, here locally. So I'm hoping that that will do okay, but nonetheless, it's going to bring in at least a little bit more so I'm excited to see where that might be able to get us on our progress of saving for our minimum debt payment for March so um, also the 10th we will also be getting um, part-time paycheck and that video will air next week so Ha! Ah, so many possibilities, and I'm not nervous yet, but I, I'm tentatively starting to feel it build, but I'm feeling pretty confident at this point, too. So, it's, it's all a roller coaster, baby, all a roller coaster, and we're just here for the ride. <laughs> all right, you guys, I will see you next time. Bye!